Oracle is all about you. This is your weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Virgo, Virgo. This is your Oracle, Oracle card spread, an energy reading. So this is for wherever Virgo energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Your full tarot card spread that articulates this reading and your romance reading is in the description box below. That link is below. Virgo, let's get this on. Show on the road. What messages need to or want to come out for Virgo? Oh my goodness. Oh, the cards have, the, I should like, I should rename all of these cards gone wild because that's exactly what's happening in all of these readings. They be crazy. My mother's calling me later. Time to let go of all the heartache and whatever it is that's holding you back. What, what is nagging your heart? What is gnawing your heart? What is feeling like security? Three plus one is four. It feels like security. This is a pain that you've held on to for so long. You, it's almost part of your foundation. It's, it's like, it's almost how you distinguish feeling good or feeling happy. This is something that causes a pain or a heartache or a suffering that you, you've almost grown dependent on like a crutch because it gives you some sort of stability. You recognize it. It's something that's recognizable it's a it's it's a pain that's recognizable well guess what now this is time to literally dig up the basement tear down the house and start over because you have to suss this out you have to let go of this pain it's time now why is it time that's a good question hold up these two are in reverse use your mind wisely I think you're being irrational, which is not like you, but you're being irrational this week and your emotions are running out of control. There's something like emotions are running high this week and it's, it's, it's been set off by something or someone, but this is emotions running high and out of control and you not wanting to wait. You wanting things, things going quickly, things moving really quickly. It could be just things moving quickly. That's made you feel uncomfortable enough so that it's stirring up these fears. Um, but I also think that it's it's not giving you enough time to think about things that, that you need to really process. So I think there's a discomfort here and it could very well be the discomfort itself from not like always leaning on getting to have time, always leaning on being the one in control to of the time, of being able to take the time that you need in order to process things at your own speed. I don't think you're getting that this week and there's some sort of upheaval here. It almost feels like you're not in the full amount of control that you want to be. But let's get back to the crowning energy. Time to let go. Time to let go of this concept in your head that has stuck in your head for a long time. Something that you believe about others or something that you believe about yourself. That's what's sort of impeding you and not letting you act, react quickly and react in real time. There is a belief that you have of yourself that is getting in the way of being able to improvise and keep up with the pace. The pace isn't wrong. These are actually good opportunities swarming around you. But there, what is that belief that's deep inside of you that's sort of impeding the process and the progress that wants to happen. Hold on, Virgo. We're going to get into the rest of your reading. Trust in divine detours. You are literally being, you're being, um, you're being flung curveballs left and right this week. That's what's going to be happening to you. Um, the next we get this is for the next seven days. So this is seven. Something new is happening. New new um, paths are being created. Maybe new projects are being created. Creativity. If this is improvisation, what is getting in the way of you improvising? What is it? You're like lots of curveballs. I think are making you feel extremely uncomfortable. But that doesn't mean the curveballs are bad. This could also mean. Trying, having to face emotions that you weren't ready to face yet. Oh, the tangled web you weave this week, Virgo. Set healthy boundaries. And 
watch and wait. You know, I feel like this is your central energy. You wanting to center yourself and be patient. This is also Piscean energy. Um, being unsure. There's uncertainty here. Set healthy boundaries. This could be generational in nature of learning how to um, stop. Focus on the card. The card is saying set healthy boundaries. What is a healthy boundary though? Something about boundaries, something about boundaries, born without boundaries, something about boundaries is the center of this conflict. About either boundaries being too thick, walls being too high, and you getting trapped behind them, or there being no boundary at all and everything just flooding all over the place. Healthy boundaries are the appropriate boundaries. Healthy boundaries are um, place and time appropriate. So there's something here about really crumbling under the weight of your own pressure, of your own shell, of the own defenses that you've made for yourself. Uh, you're being very defensive toward a particular person, not really wanting, like, like, You want to protect somebody. It's not necessarily something in your life that's moving too fast. It's something in somebody else's life that's moving too fast. Interesting. Make your dreams real. Let me, this is mother energy. This is mother or grandmother, grandmother in particular energy. Trying to build a cocoon or wrap, wrap somebody that you love in a protective energy. Maybe trying to manipulate things too much, uh, building boundaries too high. That's actually causing a problem for the person that you're trying to protect, smothering them or not letting them expand or grow. This could be a lover, a friend, a colleague, a, 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 a relative. It's just somebody that you care about a great deal and it's almost like you're doing too much. You're pulling too many strings and, and there's some sense of, of generational uh, repetitiveness of, of it happening again. Okay. Love is all around. This is in the name of love. This is smothering somebody in the name of love. And you see clearly now, this is part of your grounding energy of being able to uh, maybe getting counsel, somebody on the outside of you saying, do you realize what you're doing? And you probably will not want to hear them because it, it's hitting home too hard and you'll react in a very defensive way. It could be somebody, somebody who did this to you pointing out. It's almost like the person who did this to you and hurt you with it pointing out that you're now behaving just like them. And that's why you don't want to listen to what's being said because who the heck are they to come back and teach you or tell you anything. There's a defensiveness there. There's also a defensiveness for this person or this situation that you're trying to protect, but you're doing too much. You're doing too much, which is really smothering it, burdening it with this idea or this notion that it can't do it itself, that it needs all this extra help. It needs all this extra padding here. You, you, I, you, gotta be, you have to be protected. You have to be protected. If somebody has to be protected at all times, you are psychologically, you're saying to that person, you don't think that they can handle it themselves. You're making them lame. So maybe this is about what somebody did to you in the name of love. They manipulated too much. Um, let it shine. The truth coming out. Speak out. Say your voice. This is something that's long been buried. This is scorpionic energy rising from the ashes. Phoenix energy. Life, death, rebirth. This is about you transforming yourself and sticking up for yourself and speaking out and saying something. Giving some harsh bouts of wisdom and truth. This could also be going to counseling. Some sort of family therapy. Family counseling. Taking counsel. Getting good advice. Or getting, getting good advice from somebody that you don't want to listen to. But there is this forward progress. There's pro progress here. There is looking forward, wanting, worrying about the future. Concerned with the future. <laughs> 
My puppy was tickling my feet. Um, concerned with the future, looking into the future, uh, a strong sense of self. Um, that's what's going to be grounding you. There's a, there's a strong sense of self, of knowing who you are, of knowing what's important to you and being able to, this week, this is Aquarius energy and this is Scorpio energy. That's really interesting. Scorpio and Aquarius energy of the truth coming out and being spoken. And then this is Leo energy of looking forward into the future of feeling good about yourself. I honestly feel like this is confronting. Um, this is confronting issues that have been sort of skirting underneath the surface for quite some time. This is actually, and why are you doing it? Because it's almost like if you don't confront them, you'll repeat the patterns. You'll repeat the patterns and hurt somebody or do the same thing that was done to you. That's what this energy is. There, there is a strong sense of um, maybe something in the beginning of the week makes you fearful. No, wait, give me a second. You're being very reactionary. That's very reactionary energy. Both of these energies upside down is very reactionary of responding instantaneously and rushing in, rushing in to save somebody, to block trust and divine detours, um, ha having curveballs thrown at you. And so not even taking a time to think, well, can I handle the curveballs? Because somewhere along the line, somebody taught you that you can't handle a curveball. And I think that's what brings up all of this garbage is something somewhere along the line, somebody taught you that you can't handle a curveball. Curveballs are dangerous. All they do is hit you. You'll get hurt. You'll crack your head open. You'll die. It's a curveball. People hit them all the time. Why can't you? And that's the reality. And it's like identifying this fear because you were about to overprotect or give the same message to somebody now. And now you're in the situation of the same situation of the people that did it to you. Some sort of generational pattern setting. Now you're in the same situation of the people who did it to you. Now you realize why they did it to you. So there is, can be this potential for this healing energy this week, Virgo, in A, knowing that they're not rat bastards who did this to you on purpose to hurt you or harm you or because they're evil, but it was because it was, it came from a place of love, but also realizing it doesn't make it good. And if you perpetuate this, then you're sticking with this, this new situation with the same old problems and you can't do that. You have to break this wheel. That's what you're like Daenerys, right? I'm going to break the wheel. You have to break the wheel, burn it all down, baby, burn it all down. You got to break the wheel. Being confident by, through confidence, through believing in yourself, through realizing that you don't have to wear all this armor and all this protective gear every time you walk out of the house. That it is actually okay to be spontaneous and just let life throw you curveballs. You have the ability to field them. You have the ability to improvise. You can do this. You don't necessarily need things Five weeks in advance to lay everything out. You can, you don't need it. You don't need it. This is about what, remember what I said from the beginning of the reading? What is it that you believe that has been holding you back? And this is that sense, that sentiment of this is what you believe that's been holding you back. That everything has to be planned. That everything has to be predictable. It's holding you back. It's holding you back because it, it, progress isn't safe. And this is like, you could be cutting off somebody else's opportunities by burdening them with the same concept that isn't the truth. It's not the truth because people, successful people everywhere, happy people everywhere live life differently. This is a truth that was put into your head to control you. Control you because they loved you. But it was something that you learned a long time ago and it's time to let it go. It doesn't make sense. And maybe it made sense when you were five because you needed to be controlled. 
Does it make sense now? It doesn't make sense now. You have to, you have to like reweave the own story in your head for what makes sense now. And that comes with breaking through a lot of old scripts, like ripping up a lot of old scripts, burning them and casting them away. And I think it's this new energy in the center, this Piscean energy of watch and wait, realizing that somebody is watching you. Somebody is listening to you. You are setting an example for other people. What, what do you want that example to be? Do you want it to be one of limitations or do you want it to be one of infinite possibilities? All right, Virgo. I'm going to go right into the tarot card reading. I will see you. The link is below. I'll see you guys over there.